I'm Barb Allard. Welcome to Made in Alberta. When Shane Johnson and his wife Tamara began developing their acreage at Wobberman, just west of Edmonton, they had a choice to make about how to power their dream home. Confronted with very high upfront costs to bring power lines onto the property, they decided to go the independent route. Shane launches our chapter called Going Off Grid with an explanation of how to become your own power company. So what does it take to live off grid? Well, you need to be efficient. Um, because the more efficient you are, the less that you have to put into off grid equipment. And I mean dollar wise. For example, converting their electric stove to propane cost around $1,000, but it saved 6,000 in solar panels. The one thing that I did tell my wife when we did this journey of living off grid is that I will not compromise my lifestyle and we were able to achieve that. It's important to buy efficient lighting and appliances and learn the tricks of using them wisely. We have a 21 cubic foot fridge. It's Kenmore, it's got the freezer in the bottom. We've got a 10 cubic foot freezer just behind the store here. Uh, we keep it in the shop, so then in the winter it barely goes on. Again, little pointers about how to get efficient. Uh, we have a washer and dryer, it's front load, uses very little water. But that's good because on our well, our pump's not pumping so much when we're not using so much water. So there we're getting efficiencies. We have a dishwasher, you know, we have all of the conveniences of home and we have not suffered at all. In fact, we've gained it because we were able to live where we wanted to live in our own privacy, beside our ponds, we can fish all the time and see the moose and deer come into our property. A final warning, beware of phantom loads. Use a power bar. My 55 inch big screen TV, my DVD player, my five speaker surround stereo system, my VHS player and my direct dish satellite are all in one power bar. If all those appliances are turned off, I'm still using 65 watts an hour. Over 24 hours, that's 1.5 kilowatt hours of use that would be pouring out of my battery bank to power that while I'm not even there. You still may not think that's much, but if I tell you that I only use 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours per day, that becomes pretty significant, that ghost power. When you live off-grid, you have to be cognizant of where your power is being spent. The amazing power of energy efficiency isn't just for off-grid living. Anyone can reap the benefits of one of the best investments going. Join us again for Episode 2 of Going Off-Grid, when Shane explains how his hybrid electric system works. Shane builds and sells renewable energy systems and teaches seminars for those interested in off-grid living. For more information, phone 1-866-892-0132 or check out www.solarpanel.ca.